Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Make sure to watch the rest of the entire video, because in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that launched today, that happened today. You gotta say, there's some good stuff about it, there's some bad stuff about it, but like, hey. Wasn't, wasn't all bad, wasn't all good. Uh, there was some good announcements in there, I gotta say. Uh, so let's start talking about a couple of them, though, dude, you know? So first off, guys, let's start talking about the Smash reveal. We got Pyra, uh, which can turn into uh, another um, character. Uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I don't really pay attention to... Uh, I, I, didn't, I don't know that much. I haven't played uh, Xenoblade yet. Z Xenoblade? Xenoblade Chronicles? Xenoblade Chronicles? Xenoblade Chronicles uh, either of them on Switch yet. But I'm probably gonna get it. Hopefully, I'm probably gonna get a Xenoblade, at least one of them this year. So there's that. Um, I don't know how people feel about this. I mean, like it is another sword character, which I've I've seen people not really like about like that though, dude. But it did seem, but it did seem kind of cool. It seemed cool about about how she was able to change characters, change change into another character, which was actually pretty cool. Let's talk about the uh, second one. Uh, we got Fall Guys coming to Switch this summer. Um, it, it, it's not gonna sell well. It's not. I mean, Fall Guys died, like, last year. I mean, it's it's a dead game at this point. I mean, like, yeah, there, there's still probably a couple thousand, there's still thousands of people playing it and streaming it on, on Twitch, I'm pretty sure. But, like, other than that, I mean, like, uh, there's not, I mean, people watching people stream. But again, though, dude, I don't think there's, I don't think there is much hype right now. We are. We moved on from it like last year. I mean, if it would have came out right there, it probably would have so been the best game for for maybe a couple of weeks or months or you know who knows. Um. Uh, uh. Then we got Outer Wilds, uh, which pretty much which is like a game where it's like you have like twenty or so, tw yeah, like twenty two minutes to like save the solar si save a solar save the solar system or it completely destroyed. Uh, but then it comes back. You know, it's a rogue like game, I guess. Mm, wasn't horrible. Then we got fan, the Famicom Detective games. No, Famicom Detective Club games. Um, they, they looked cool. I mean, like, like I'm probably gonna get it, dude. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the, uh, uh, I was a fan of, um, uh, the Phoenix Wright games that came to, that, that was ported to Switch, so, who knows? Uh, probably gonna like it. Uh, that game comes out May 14th. Um, then we got Samurai Warriors 5, which comes out this summer. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a Dynasty Warriors game, which, again, it isn't everyone's cup of tea. But who knows? Then we got Legend of Mana, which is a remake, I think they said it was a... Then we got Legend of Mana coming out June 24th. Uh, then we got a monster... Then we got a trailer for Monster Hunter Rise, which is actually pretty cool. And then here's the thing, dude. This is probably one of my favorite games here. We got, a, we got news on a new Mario Golf game. From me correctly, it was Mario Golf Super Rush. I'll, I'll throw the uh, title screen on the uh, on the screen right now, that dude. So yeah, uh, that comes uh, June twenty fifth. This is a new Mario Golf game. I don't know when was the last time we got Mario Golf, but I got a new Mario Golf game, especially on a especially on a plat especially on uh, an actual console, and not like a handheld. But if I remember correctly, like the last new one for consoles, it was probably uh, game. It was the GameCube. Uh. Then we got Tales from the Borderlands coming next month. We got Stubbs the Zombie coming out next month. Oh, we got some news on on uh, No More Heroes three. It was it was pretty cool. Then we got this game, which I actually think is actually pretty cool. It's Neon White, which is a, like a card game kind of thing. That you you have to collect cards, and they give you like a weapon though, dude, to like to, to kill monsters in heaven. Seems actually pretty cool. Probably not not explaining it correctly, but eh. Uh, then we got Plants vs. Zombies. Um, you know, the uh, EA thing that you know. Uh, it looks okay. I haven't played the game, though, dude, but uh, it's coming out March 19th. I might get it, maybe. I might get it like a, like a while afterwards. I don't know. Then we got Miitopia, which I, I, it was just getting ported over, I'm guessing, because like, uh, I, I don't know much about Miitopia. Hmm. Then we got some more news about Mario. Coming into Animal Crossing, you know, Mario stuff coming into Animal Crossing. Pretty cool. 
And then we got Triangle Strategy, which is a new project by Square Enix. Uh, it's coming to Switch in 2022, but there is a beta that's uh, out right now, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to be downloading and probably playing through it uh, later today. Then we got Star Wars Hunter, which is a new Star Wars game. Um, I think it was free to play, I think. Okay, that's what they said. I think, I think they said it was free to play. Then we got Knockout City, which actually looked okay. Uh, World's End Club, which again, if I'm correct, it's a 2D, it's a 2D uh, platform game. It's a 2D game. I don't know much about it. Then we got Ninja Gaiden Collection, which again, I mean those the games are pretty good, but I didn't, but uh, there was no rumors about this game, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's coming out June 10th. Now we're down to like the final two games that they announced pretty much there to do. First one, we got Skyward Sword HD. Uh, this is amazing. I I, I was kind of hoping that they would show you know the, uh you know like the Zelda 30, uh uh you know like the Zelda 30 3D All Stars kind of thing you know like they did with Mario, which would have been awesome. I hope they do some other stuff with Zelda, and not just Skyward Sword and you know. Uh, Legend of Zelda 2. Legend of Zelda 2 would be great, but, like, I hope they do more. Uh, they actually do some cool stuff, though, dude. Uh, you, you, you can use the, uh, Joy-Cons as the, you know, like, the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, like, the, like, like normal, like on, um, like on the, uh, Wii. Or they did actually add button controls, which I would say is actually pretty cool. The button controls adds a lot of stuff. Uh, so they add button controls you play on the, on the light on the switch light and in handheld mode, you know. So that's again really cool. Uh, that comes out July sixteenth. I've never played Skyward Sword before, but I am going to be picking it up on uh, July sixteenth. Uh, again, very cool game. Hope um, I hope Breath of the Wild two comes out this year also. Again, really good. Really could be cool. Uh, this is the uh, last. Uh, Zelda game, mainline Zelda game, uh, since, I mean, this was the last mainline Zelda game before, uh, Breath of the Wild on handheld, on consoles, and not handheld, so that's really cool. Uh, then the last thing we have here is Splatoon 3. Uh, they didn't really show anything for Splatoon 3, they showed us, like, a little trailer and, like, like the, uh, the screen that it was Splatoon 3 coming to Switch um, in 2022. So it's probably gonna come out for like another two years. Sucks. I was really hoping it would come out this year so I could play the dude. You know, I never actually played a Splatoon game. I don't know if I, I'm, I might get Splatoon 2 just for this year though, dude. And then like I'll get it again. I'll get Splatoon 3 this year so I can at least like play some Splatoon though, dude, before that though, dude. Because I've never played a Splatoon game, which sucks. Uh, I just got my Soul Itch, like, a couple months ago, back in August. Yeah. And so... Oh, yeah, if you want to see the video of me unboxing that, a link to that will be in the description down below. Make sure to watch that video after this video. But, yeah. Um. Okay, now let's talk about, like, like the Directing Total later. There were some duds, I would probably say, in this here. One of them was, uh, DC, uh, Superhero Girls. It did not look good. It was kind of, uh, it was just not good. It was just, eh, meh. Nah. I mean, could it be fun? Pro it could be, but I'm not getting the game. Uh, so now let's talk about the big, bigger picture. Was this direct good? I don't know. As I, I mean, I probably shouldn't have had so much hype though, dude, for this direct, but again, though, dude, uh, I was hoping they would talk, we would, we would see, uh, you know, maybe some, me maybe a Metroid game, you know, maybe like, like a port of a Metroid game, or they would talk about, you know, Metroid Prime 4, but probably not, I mean, like, I knew it was a long, long shot anyways, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was gonna be, it was, it was looking like a bad direct up until the very end where they announced Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword pretty much saved the direct. It saved the direct, so it's not a great direct, but it's not a horrible direct either. I don't know. I don't know what what I can really say about this direct, though, dude. Um, 
I would think um, that it it's it could be a good game. I mean, I, I think the structures could be good. Like a lot of these games, I'm probably interested in. Uh, like Fall Guys, I already have the thing on PC. My PC runs garbagely. Garbage, we're into the garbage. Uh, the Famicom Detective, probably gonna get that. Um, uh, uh, Mario Golf, gonna get that. Um, uh, Stubbs the Zombie looks okay, might get that. Plants vs. Zombie, maybe. Neon White, maybe. Uh, Triangle Strategy, probably get that next in 2022. Star Wars Hunter, probably. World Ends Club, that looks pretty good. Ninja Gaiden Collection, probably. Skyward Sword, most definitely. Uh, Splatoon 3, yes. So, yeah. There was some duds, dude. But I, I'd say, overall, though, dude, it was an okay direct. Wasn't the worst direct we've probably had. But, but wasn't the best, either. So, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload every weekday from Monday through Friday. Uh... Usually at 3 p.m. This video is coming out later because the direct just happened. Uh, yeah, who knows? Don't forget to sub to my second channel, EG Play. No, yeah, EG Plays. You know, Express Gaming Plays. Uh, and follow my Twitter. Um, and see you next time. Bye.